Team World, today I'm going to demonstrate some social media networking functions of Apertus IO. In today's demonstration, I'll be using uh, the Bitcoin Core testnet, Bitcoin Core production wallet, as well as the Datacoin uh, wallets in order for this all to function properly. All right, first thing I'd like to demonstrate is uh, following a term uh, or a keyword search within Apertus. First of all, we have to select the Bitcoin. I uh, will select the blockchain that we're using. In this scenario, I'm going to select Bitcoin. Uh, and then we'll want to select the term that we'd like to search for. Uh, a keyword search has to be entered with a hashtag in front of it. And we'll select something recent, uh, prints. Uh, so what happened was uh, when I hit enter, Apertus recognized that as a keyword search, it went out to the Bitcoin uh, wallet. It uh, created a token uh, that is unique to the, to the term prints. Uh, it imported that token into the wallet, and then it listed all the transactions that have been sent to that token, and then it, and then took a look at them to see if any of them were actually Apertus IO transactions, and if they were, it displayed it on the left uh, window here, and on the right window, it showed the very first uh, or the very latest return on uh, for that term. What it also did uh, when you entered that uh, term in there, it created a keyword within the wallet. So let's look in the receiving address, or let's look in the file receiving addresses, and you can see in here now that there'll be one uh, with the term prints on it. Uh, and, and the reason it did that is because uh, it has imported that into your wallet. And now going forward, if there are any future prints uh, etchings, you will automatically uh, know about them. Uh, and they'll just kind of show up for you here uh, the next time you do a, a search. So let's come back to the list and show you how that works. So in the future, if you want to see what else exists for prints, now that's on your list, you can just select prints from your follow list. And it's going to go and, and, and crawl that chain and it's going to recreate them as if they were a Twitter feed. So going forward, as new things come in, uh, they'll just kind of add, be added to the top of this feed. Uh, so let's show another one. Here's one, uh, a search term of my own uh, name. And this is also on Bitcoin. Uh, and you can see how that one has returned uh, quite a few listings here. Uh, that uh, Things that I have uh, etched using the uh, EMBII keyword. So how, how does that function? Uh, if you look at the, any of these objects, you can see here is the search term. Uh, here is the search term. So basically, to, to get this to function in the future, when you're in your etchings, in your message, you just have to use uh, the keyword. And as long as you've used it and you've checked this box here, uh, Apertus is going to, while etching, look at the text and realize that it has to add an additional uh, ping to an address that represents that uh, term right there. Uh, and that's how it functions. And so it'll look through your entire etching and for, and for instance, in this one, it actually pinged Elon Musk, Bitcoin, MB, and own the solar system as all keywords. Uh, keywords can be up to 20 characters. They cannot contain spaces or special characters. Uh, and that is uh, an example of following someone uh, similar to how you can follow uh, individuals and terms on Twitter. Uh, so let's say you, you're following someone uh, and uh, you notice that, uh, uh, let's search. The smaller case. You notice some of them have icons here on the left. Uh, etchings that have icons mean that there's a profile associated with those etchings. Uh, and if an etching has a profile, then you can follow that person or add them as a friend or send them private messages based off of that profile. So to, so to demonstrate that, we'll click on uh, one of the items here uh, that has a profile associated with it. And before I do that, if you look up here to the right, you can notice that this uh, person and this heart are grayed out. Uh, when I click on an item with a profile, you notice that they're no longer grayed out. Uh, and what that means is, it means that I can add this person as a friend into my friend drop down box here, uh, or I can send them a tip uh, because they, uh, they have associated a tip address with their profile. Uh, to send them a tip, I, I click on the heart. Uh, and if you notice on the left, it uh, put in some terms into my etching window uh, in order to send a tip. Uh, and, the, and the terms are 
basically the at sign, the address, the uh, greater than sign, and then and then a number. Uh, and those terms will force the client upon the next etching to send this amount, 0 0.0001 of data to this particular address. The tip uh, amounts can be adjusted within the wallet settings if this is uh, too much uh, money for your likings, too much, too many coins. Uh, <clears throat> so that's uh, some additional features, the, uh, the add a friend and also the, uh, the uh, tip. Uh, once someone is added as a friend, so we'll just add this person here. You'll notice that they showed up here in my friend list. Uh, once someone is a friend, if I want to send them, uh, if I would like to send them a uh, public message, I can do that simply by typing in their sh their short name. So at embii uh, etching this would actually send a public message to my friend embii uh, who is uh, located at this profile right here. Or uh, if this is something sensitive, I can send them uh, I could send them a private message by making sure that the private button has been checked next to my friends list, uh, selecting my friend from the list, and then sending them a private message. This will actually be sent to your friend using their public key, uh, and then they'll be able to decrypt the message using their private key. Uh, so, and the encryption used there is the same encryption that is being implemented uh, within Bitcoin itself. Uh, so I think uh, we should be pretty pretty safe uh, with that message. However, this is still beta software, so I, we wouldn't recommend you putting anything too sensitive into that box quite yet. Uh, so those are a few demonstrations of some of the things that you can do uh, using a Pertus and a blockchain of your choice. Have a great day and thanks for your time.